When this game first came out in 2013, I was incredibly hyped. I am an extremely big fan of Rome 1 Total War, and it's probably my all-time favorite strategy game, and I have played countless hours in that specific game. So when these successors were about to come out, I obviously were very interested in buying this game and playing it. So when it first came out, I bought it on release day. I bought the CD in a store. That's something you can't do right now in Corona times, of course. And I jacked it into my computer. I, I waited with really excited for it to, to install. And I jumped right into it when it was finished. I didn't care about school in the morning or no, nothing. I just wanted to play this game. But I were to be disappointed because, as you may know, this game's launch was incredibly bad and that had a lot to do with technical reasons. The game had a tendency to crash, like all the time, especially on people with worse computers, which I had. I, had, I didn't have the best computer and I simply couldn't run this game on my computer sta stable enough. So I stopped playing. I simply stopped playing. I have only 30 hours in this game. And I haven't played this game since basically 2013 when it came out. And that's actually the least amount of hours I have in any Total War game that I own up to date. Except Warhammer 2 because I haven't played that at all even though I own that title. This game has always been a bit of a disappointment for me because I had never really gotten into it and if I have to play a more modern Roman game, I'm always going to play Attila, because I prefer that game to this one. But as I was thinking, it's the weekend, I'm going to do a campaign, a let's play, on whatever game I want to, and I was like, what do you want to see? Which game would you like to watch? And I was like, Rome 2! Sounds, sounds interesting, right? So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to play Rome 2 as Roma itself. And the only question is, which house should we play as? The Julia, Junia, or Cornelia. I probably want to play as Julia because it's the Julius Caesar family and I like that, so. Rome will rule the world. It is her destiny and always has been. Claiming a line of descent back to Hercules, Romans are not lacking in civic pride. Rome was not lacking in fierceness. Their city was founded by Romulus and Remus, twins raised by a wolf. Their armies may have been beaten, but they have always dragged themselves back to into any fight and battled on. And now, surrounded by rivals and potential enemies, Rome faces challenges at every turn. He who rules in Rome can rule the world, but only through the glory of conquest. And the House of Julia, originally from Alba Longa, the Julii clan are an ancient patrician family with a tradition of attaining high office dating back centuries. The most famous of the clan was Gaius Julius Caesar, who became a lifelong dictator. I'm feeling confident, so I'm gonna play on Legendary. I'm a very... I have played a lot of Total War games in my life, basically, so... Uh, I'm gonna have a time limit, I don't want any advice or help. None. Uh, limited. Nightmare mode is not what I want to play on, though. Battle Realism. Yeah, sure. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but I wanna have fun. I know this game is... Because I'm not playing with any mods. A lot of people play this game with mods because they need to. Otherwise, it's unplayable for many people because it's too easy. So I'm gonna play on Legendary. And I'm gonna meet you inside the game. Although I did realize that there were actually... Uh, the cutscene, which you might, may, might want to see. So <laughs> you're actually going to join me for that one. As soon as this loading screen is over with. I was jumping the gun a bit. <laughs> you are at war with the Etruscan League. The weren't the captain. I think that's only Attila then. I don't care about this guy. <laughs> I was jumping the gun a lot there. You can see how long it was since I played this game because I didn't even know there wasn't a, a cutscene. So we have this objective to completely control two provinces either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. 
There's actually something I never liked with Rome 2, which it introduced this new building system. I preferred the building system we had in Medieval 2 and in Rome 1 and in the older games. They first introduced this in Empire, I think. This new, like, you have this limited amount of buildings you can build in every city. I never liked that. We're currently at war with the Etruscans. That's fine. We're going to go kill them in a minute. Um, I like always to invest in money firsthand because I want to get the economy up. Because otherwise we're going to have some issues. But I do want supply reforms as well. We're going to start with land management though. I think. You, you have to give me a break as well if you see me making a lot of mistakes. I haven't played this game as I said in years. I played Attila and that game of course is run differently from this one. I see myself as a very good Attila player. But not really when it comes to this game. Because if we have you, I want to send you up here. So we can see what we have to fight against. And that's the Etruscan army. It's a very small one. And I think we want to do something about that. So we're going to go instantly to have our fa first battle with the Etruscans. And they're going to run away, of course. But I want a battle, so I'm going to attack them. Feeling a bit of lag. And I'm actually going to fight the battle on the battlefield because I want some action in this first video. So this is going to be exciting. It's a very basic map. The Battle of Bellatry in 272 before Christ. No, none of this BCE shit. I don't want rain though. Please. Man, I can really feel the... Okay, so we have this... We have this high hill advantage. I think I can get this day here before they can. So I'm going to have the advantage of being above them. Which is good. I like that. So we have all of those levies and velites. Let's see if I remember the hotkeys as well. So I want you to be a group as well. I want to unlock the group. How do you do that? Now again. Man, I don't remember how to, un how to unlock a group. Give me a second, guys. Okay, I remember. It's because I pressed Control G. I shouldn't press Control G. I should only press G. That's the mistake I made. This is my general, of course. I want to use him because he's heavy cavalry or medium cavalry. So these are the Hestati, which were basically were young men are the armored front line of Ro a Roman legion. Yes, they are. I want to not have fired well because the the amount of friendly fire in this game is actually insane. Contains the unit to be honest. Oh, that's the wrong button. That's the two. On a card, Go away. A... I, like, I, you press, I don't want any advices. And still the game gives you advice or help, even though you don't want to. I have always hated that with this game. Or like with any Total War game that you get advice or help, even though you don't want to. Which is annoying. Because we, we can't pause and give orders because we play on Legendary, of course. That's something I need to keep in mind, because I usually don't play on Legendary when I play Total War games. But I do now. Okay, so you're feeling fresh, all of you. That's good. And this is the Etruscan army. I can't go exactly all the way there because we, have, of course, play on Legendary. So they have this Italian noble cavalry, as well as those Italian spearmen and levy skirmishes. What I want to do... Can I see how... F yeah, right. I actually haven't played the war game in a very long time as well because I have been playing so much Paradox in the recent times. So I haven't, as I said, I haven't really played a lot of Total War. In all honesty, I probably play more Total War games personally than I play Crusader Kings or Rupert Vesalis or Imperator because I play those games for such a longer time. That's the big thing. What I want to do is I want to, I want to move my troops up here. I want to shoot at them because I have. I have superiority when it comes to ranged fire. And the thing is, that's going to make their cavalry probably charge me. Which means I'm going to have my Hastati behind those guys. And try and catch her, his cavalry when he tries to move up to me. Probably a bit of overkill because we have such superiority when it comes to troops. But I want to make the best of it. I don't want to waste troops in an unnecessary way. And of course, the battles in this game are very fast paced. That's something you need to keep in mind. That's actually something I prefer in Attila. That game is not as fast-paced as this one is. So what I, what I want to do first, move the Hastati slightly closer. 
and then I'm gonna attack with my Velitis and Levis. Yeah. So we, we are almost in range. I think the Velitis have slightly longer range than the Levis do. Only slightly. When I have those guys just behind those, so I can be able to retreat. Okay, stop. Pressing this button cancels orders. Back, back, go back, run back. But I want those. Okay, you, you can shoot. You can shoot. Yeah, right. That's okay. They're trying to attack me. They're, yeah, they have this, those spears as well as I do. So you run back now. And you run in. As well as you. While you st keep on shooting. I want my cavalry to be here to be able to put support. While you shoot down his levies. No one is shooting at will as well, which is good. That's what I prefer. Okay. Yeah, I know they have been. What I could potentially do is try and flank with those people. Okay, so how good are those Italian spearmen at fighting? Apparently very good. Okay, you can't use... Oh, well, you have it in Attila when you can choose the, the way I want them to move. I want you to move up here. Stand in the middle of the levees. And, and the Velites. Okay, right. No, stop, 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 stop. Shoot him. As long as you can. He's going to attack me. Yes, he's going to. Attack him. You attack him in the back. That's what I want to do. I want you to be able to shoot this guy in the back. Because... Okay, my levies got caught. That doesn't really matter. The levies are worthless, really. I can't. I don't really care about those people. You should be able to beat this guy better than you are. But that's apparently not the case right now. Bit sad. Okay, my levies got broken. Doesn't really matter. So how's this battle going? Of course, this game brought in the cinematic mode, which is something that came with this game. Something I loved when it first came out because it looked so cool. Especially with the graphics that you do have. Because the graphics in this game, for the time when it came out, it was incredible. It really was. Incredible graphics. Okay, don't mind, you can shoot this guy. Try and make him flee. And now he's gonna stop shoot because he's actually... There we go. That's probably going to be the end of this. Just gonna speed up a bit, and we're probably going to meet him. Yes, we did. And that's... Oh, man, I didn't want to continue. I want to quit the battle. We had a decisive victory. I lost 127 men. I probably could have done that in a better way than I did, but it's okay. As I said, I haven't played this in a while, so I'm still trying to learn, relearn, how to play this specific game in itself. But it's fun. I like it. Also, make sure to like this video if you haven't already and to subscribe to the channel. It do help out. And if you subscribe, make sure to press the, the bell notification button as well. It's usually a good thing to do for your own, your own sake so you don't miss out on when I put up new videos. I can release those captives. Um... Okay, we beat them. We could probably not attack this, those people yet, but we get, we gain something. Okay, so we can upgrade the, the legion. Or oh, not the legion, we could upgrade the general. Okay. Let me see, what did those things do now again? I can't really see what those things do right now. I think... Which way do I want to go down? The warrior, strategist, or commander. 40, 40 experience, cunning, campaign map, movement. Siege things, replenishment, call for a conversion. That's like the question, what do, what do I want? I'm going to be a warrior for now. I think that's the, the thing we're going to go for. And... Uh, Pardon? How strong is the city itself? They have six units. So one cav, one spearman, two mob, and two levy slingers. I like slingers. At least in Attila. 
So that's interesting. How's the food looking? We, don't, we have no food currently. That's something we need to keep in consideration. That would give us one extra food in Neapolis. We could waste the population to build food. You're unhappy. Why is that? Cultural differences. Okay, right. I do remember we need to build one of the consecrated grounds to make sure we get some Latin cultural influence. Usually a good thing to do. And I want some food. Somewhere I want food. We do have this legion down here as well. With the guy Scipio. I think that's actually the very famous Scipio. But I might be wrong. And if you don't know who I mean, look look up Scipio Africanus. And you're going to notice who that person is. We have this navy as well. We could potentially build up my navy to take this place down. Um, something I could potentially do. Or what I could do, I'm going to bring those guys up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring those guys up to Neapolis. They can't get there yet because they're too slow. I want to move my navy there because I want to take Alalia out as soon as possible. Because they tend to be a bit of a hassle because the Etruscans may usually build up a big army in this specific city because you can't take it at the same time you take Velatri and Ariminum. So that's the reasoning behind that. Do I want to build something else? Probably somewhere. A fishing port. That would give us a lot of food. Yeah, I don't want a naval fort here. I'm probably going to build my naval... I have a naval wharf here. That's the thing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a fishing port here. That makes sense. And you, can you do something? Settlement sabotage. I see no reason to. That's only a waste of money for now. So we're going to actually end... Not end the turn because I have forgot about those things. Trade. Um, do you want the trade agreement? No. This is usually something you need to do in the beginning. Just make sure you can get as much money as possible from people. Um, but I do want to pay for it myself. I could potentially pay something for to get a trade with those people because they're usually kind of okay with having a trade agreement. We say yes to that. You don't? You sure? Thank you. And also, Liguria, would you want to trade with me for now? Probably not. Um, I can't trade with Sparta right now. We are already training with Syracuse and Massalia. Good. That could increase our income slightly. That's what I want to do. Is there anything else we can do right now? I, I can deploy you, is to try and get his her experience up. That's basically my reasoning behind this. And we're going to end the turn. The wailing of your women will oh. sing the children of Carthage to sleep. That was unexpected. Carthage attacked me already. So we have the first Punic War already. That's not something I did expect, and that's not something that I like. It's probably because we play on Legendary. They usually don't do that when I play on Very Hard, because Very Hard is usually the, the difficulty I play on when I play myself. Okay, so she's, she was found by the opponent. The Cottage attacked us, and Athens attacked Epirus. So what I want to do is I want to go for a normal stance. I want to recruit units to this through PS. I want some Astati and some Rari. I don't really care about the... The Levis and, and the Velites because they they suck. They're so bad. I can't wait till I get some better skirmishes because those are really, really bad. And we're going to try and take this down. And I think I will actually play this battle as well because I want some, some battle content in the video. So you have to bear with those easy battles now in the beginning. Oh, they actually sallied out. That's a bit stupid. It's usually easier to defend a city than to attack outside on the field. At least in the modern days. I guess it was different back, to, back then. I hate this map. That's where they are. They have those mo mobs, they have those Italian spearmen, and they have more mobs. They ha did have some 
slingers as well, I think. And these are the Italian cavalry. And they're already damaged for some reason. Are those the people I fought against before? They might have been. They might be. Interesting. So I'm gonna group you. I'm gonna group you. And I might just group you so I can have a hotkey. So I'm gonna use my cav as well as a flanking force. You are damaged. Very damaged, actually. Which is a bit bad. And this doesn't really matter. We're gonna start the battle. I wanna move in this direction. And I won't use the skirmish mode because the skirmish mode in this game is usually broken. It doesn't work as good as you want it to do. And I'm running with my troops because I want to get there quickly and then it can stay and wait and recover. So I run there to then wait so they can get their stamina back. That's the way I think I reason behind it. They're trying to move. I don't want to attack into the forest because I can't see what they're doing, but they're actually like moving around the forest and I don't like that. That's a bit annoying. I do have those useless skirmishes, so I might as well just try and use them for something. At least as cannon fodder. Um, so I can use them for something reasonable. Okay, so how are you feeling? You're feeling active, which is okay. I probably should stay for a while now and let the start to recover. Because they're winded. And they're not... And they have those slingers, and the slingers have a longer uh, distance of fire. They can shoot for longer. Oh. At a longer distance than my lev than my javelin throwers can, basically, because they have slings. And if you don't know what a sling is, you basically throw a rock at people, and it hurts a lot. Well, not rocks. The Romans themselves used slingers in their armies, and they had lead ammunition, which they used, which were which was very effective actually. Used very effective lead ammunition on their slings. So you can walk up here and try and just get your stamina back. So that should be a good idea. Okay, so they're trying they're actually shooting me right now because they have, as I said they have a lo have a longer what's the word for it? Um they have a longer range of fire. That's the thing they have. So I'm gonna move in with those people. I don't care if they die. I don't I don't like them whatsoever. They're useless. So if they if they want to die, I can let them die. I spread them out a bit there. That's the cavalry, so they're probably going to smash my levies if they get into contact with them. And you go up here. You can walk for now. Have skirmish mode on, if you don't mind. Could try. I probably can kill some people with those guys. Oh, if I try. Okay, so they're actually attacking now. That's interesting. We could probably kill their slingers with my cavalry if I'm smart enough. And you should probably walk back before you die. It's too late now. You do that. And uh, while you go that way. Okay, so my men are wavering. I, I, I know they're not good at fighting. You could f shoot at those people. Or rather... No, not shoot at all. While you go in and kill the levy slingers, you are shooting still. I don't want to. Do, oh, they don't want anyone to shoot. Okay, so no one is shooting. Good. You go attack them. You. I want. I want you to flank their cavalry. That's what I want you to do. So. You should probably smash those levy slingers because they're not good in a melee fight. Yes, I know he is. I don't care. You're not shooting, right? You shouldn't be shooting. Okay, so where did the cavalry go? That's the cavalry. They're actually running away. That's surprising. Try and shoot him. Well, he's try potentially trying to save his levy slingers and attack my cavalry. That's what he potentially is trying to do. I think so. so shoot his cavalry if you want to. And you move up here. You're actually recovered. So you move out of the way. Yeah, he's trying to attack my, my general. That's what he's trying to do. So you shoot his cab down. While those guys run away. He's fresh. They're probably not fresh. Because I've been fighting for a while. So y'all shoot those guys, right? I, I, I'd rather have lose those people than I lose my general. I can attack them in the back. Later down the line. 
If that still levies lingers. Attack those people. And their cavalry is smashed. That's what's happen when you shoot them in the back. Usually very effective. So stop shooting. Stop shooting. And stop shooting and you're not doing anything and you can kill those levy slingers if you want to. And I'd rather not have you shoot either. Because the way this game works, they only shoot throw their javelins while they're actually attacking. Which is something they fixed in Attila, which is good. Because it was a terrible idea. You had, they didn't throw their javelins while they were standing still. Oh, the Pila. It's called a Pila. Something I never liked, really. We lost 128 men. They lost 535. Obviously, all troops are superior to theirs, and that's the main reason why. That that levy actually got a lot of kills. So that's actually a bit impressive. It's especially seeing as they actually didn't lose that many troops themselves. Very uncommon. And I haven't mentioned it this so far. I'm going to, going to occupy. I'm going to put the, these videos on Rome 2 out every weekend day so saturday and sunday it's going to be one hour specials every weekend uh, so basically two videos per week and they're one hour each and we're going to keep on playing as long as i want to we might go for a full conquest or just go for the victory conditions i don't really know so far because i don't remember what the victory conditions are in this game to be honest so military victory economic victory cultural victory we have three different ways to go about this so we just may have to wait and see what we do. This place is unhappy. There are still Latin though in this place, so that's okay. So I would like some more food. Okay, that's Neapolis. So I might build a villa to get some more food. That's what I'm going to do. And I want to actually reinforce my troops because we have this issue with Carthage right now. Which is something we need to do something about. So I'm going to increase. With a few more Restati and a few more Rurari. We can't do it right now because we're actually recruiting in the other army in the same province. That's okay. You can wait. I want to improve those guys. You can go at Riminum. For some reason I can't pronounce that name. In the next turn. They have no troops, but they're going to build up troops here in Alalia, as they have already started to do. So we need to make uh, make this army strong enough to attack. Hopefully Cottage won't do anything so far against me, but you can never be sure. Cottage scares me more than the Etruscans do, because the Etruscans are weak in comparison to Cottage. Very weak. That's the thing. Um, There's nothing I can really build. So we're going to... End the turn, I think, if there's nothing I can do when it comes to diplomacy. Would you like a trade off and now because I'm a bit stronger? No. So end turn. And I actually gained an achievement. Conqueror. Haven't I gotten that before? I have played this game before, so I don't know why I didn't gain it. Yeah, sure. I can get an aggression pack with you, Circus. I'm already at war with the Carthaginians, so I would like some help. Further down the line with an alliance. Thank you. Our agent is discovered. And it's in the middle of the winter. We have built the consecrated ground. The dictator became better at melee attack skill for all sword units. And this other army became very much bigger. So we gain this one. We, we gain some extra wealth from agriculture. And we gain some extra buildings. Um... I want to go for this one because I want the auxiliary camp and I want the manipulator barracks because I want those extra troops that I can build. The, for example, the principes, which are much better than the Astati are. Because how strong are you? He's actually trying to build up, but I think this together with the navy could be strong enough to uh, potentially take this down if he's not building up quickly enough. So he's going to have six troops in the next turn. Um... But if I land my troops first, I might be able to hire some mercs when I get there. So that's six troops in the next turn. We have 11 troops plus the navy, which I have three troops. Especially the principes are good ones. They're very good fighters. So we might be able to take Alalia down in about maybe 
Go for double time. I want to get a bit closer. So we can get there potentially in the next episode. <laughs> Not the next episode, the next turn. And you, I want you to go for Arinminum, which for some reason I still can't pronounce. You can stay here. You can fortify for now. And you're going to go in in the next turn. Because I do think they replenish better in fortify. Yes, they do. So that's my reasoning behind it. How's the income looking? I have a good money for now. So I want to build up my economy buildings as much as I can. Potentially. So we can build this up. What can I build? The thing, of, the thing with mines is that they usually... They create squalor. Which is something I don't want. And how do you reduce squalor in this game? I don't remember. Uh, which buildings reduce them? Not this one. Um, is there anything you build here? That's the thing I don't remember. We have to wait and see, I guess. I'm gonna build a meeting place, I think. Here in Velatri. So we gain some more money from commerce. And that's my reasoning for now. So we're going to end the turn again, actually, I think. If we can't build anything down here. This one is finished, of course. I want to increase the Latin thing as well as the public order as much as possible. So the... This one could be good. Or the Jupiter one. One of those two. Because I want to make this place. It's Hellenic. That's the reason why they're unhappy. Because Lillabium and Syracus are owned by the Carthaginians and by the Syracusan people. And they're obviously not Roman. Or Latin. So that's the reason. I lose one food. But I will build the villa up here. So we're going to be able to get some food down there. And the turn again. Okay, so that's Cottage Navy. Hopefully that's not a navy, it's only an army. Which is the reason why it's so big, but I am not sure. And it's a bit scary, to be honest. Because if they manage to intercept me before I get to Alalia, we could be in problems and it could sink my entire navy itself. Which would be terrible. Oh, that's a navy, yeah? Right? This is also a navy with nine ships. That's insane. Uh, and we wouldn't get there if we try now. And they could potentially... How far can they go? They can go very far. They could attack me in the next turn. If I don't get back to land. So this is actually very dangerous. This is the reason I didn't want to fight Carthage at once. I'm going back home. I don't want my navy to be sank. Be sunk. So that's the reason behind that. You can go in for Arim Ariminum, which I still can't pronounce, in this turn. They do have a navy as well. I'm only going to out-resolve this one because it doesn't really matter because this is going to be basically the same as the other battle. So there we go. We lost 200 troops. We're just going to occupy and we control an entire province now. The entire province of Italia, meaning we can actually issue an edict. So I want which one? Probably Bread and Games. It's usually the good one to go for. So that's exactly the one I'm going for. And you can stay here for now. Right, Squalor works differently in this game. It's only decreased happiness. It's not giving you like diseases. That's the difference. I remember now. I want to build this navy up as well. If I'm able to. We might actually build a navy here. So raise forces. Because they have a military wharf. So I want to raise a fleet. With... Uh, these are Triarii and a tower Hexareem. That's a lot more expensive though than the Principes are. So I'm going for the Principes. There we go. And I want some fleet units. I want probably the Ballista. It has a longer range and can you see like the speed of fire? Shots per minute. They actually have the same speed. This one is actually slightly quicker. I feel like the Ballista makes more sense. I'm building a few of those and a few of those, which I can't afford more of. So I have to wait. Actually, I'm going for the cheaper ones. Two of those. 
And I got to arrive here with a navy because Carthaginians, of course, have a navy themselves and I need to be able to counter that navy that they do have. Can we actually sue for peace with them? Like, why did they attack me even? Me Low chances, of course. They don't want to. Enter Would you Francis. like some trade? We surely have much no. no Would you like it to Athens? If you don't mind? No, you wouldn't. Only low. The well Those friend. people? Yeah, they would. Thank you. I, can send I like trade agreements. They give me money. And money well, is not a bad thing. Sit and let your words... Okay. Can't trade with Spot. I can't trade with the you, Benetti, words, potentially. Speaker. And they said no. I do not... Okay. Interesting. We will also get that trade in the next turn. Which is good. I want to probably move those people down when I have the opportunity because I want to focus on Cottage for now. That's like the thing. Um, I'm not on navies, I want this one. Charge bonus. If we... we can't double time because we conquered this place. That's why. And they have like zero mobility right now. They used up all their mobility when they attacked. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I want her to check out what the Carthaginians is doing. What they are doing, basically, rather. That's what I want to do. Yeah. And see if they, how many forces they have down here. Which might be interesting. So this is basically the first Punic War. We, I think we might be right in the timing for the first Punic War. I'm not entirely sure. I think we might be. There were like three different Punic Wars. I can't keep in my head like when all of those three wars happened. I, I can't. I can't remember, basically. And I saw the Carthaginian army, so I want to do something to counteract that by moving my army I have in Neapolis down to actually attack them. And I used, I will use the army and the Riminium, which I still can't pronounce. We have a plague. A where? Up here. Those people have a plague, so I don't want to get any close to those people. But I want this army, I want this army to... That's the wrong thing, I want the army. Thank you. Move down here. I would like to recruit some units, but I want to first build my... My manipular barracks, that's what I want. Edict issued, household expands, construction completed. Let me see, the... Uh... Dictator, can I do something about your household? How did you do this now again? Um, there we go. So that's what he has. Or he has those three things. He has plus 5% melee attack. Would I rather have that one or any of those ones? Armor. I think that's okay. Morale. And that's his wife. Good. So that caught. I saw Cottage Army down here. It's not a big one, so I could potentially be able. Stands none to do something about those people. There we go. Why not get down so I can defend Cosentia? They could potentially attack that in the next turn. So if we double time, we can get into the city itself to try and defend it. And my navy is getting bigger. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to put those naval forces together and I'm going to disband this specific navy itself. Because I don't want to have two navies right now. How's the politics looking? Uh, it's not a, a incredibly um, complicated politics system in this one, in this game, to be honest. But there are some politics in it. It's not like in Crusader Kings or Imperator Rome, but there still are some politics. Which is something you need to keep in mind. For example, the politics of the Carthaginians to attack me without provocation. And the Etruscans is going to have a very strong army to counteract the fact that I'm going to attack them, them myself. Um, what I want to do potentially is to decrease the levies and replace them with Hestati. And then later down the line I want to replace them with the Principes. So I want some more Hestati. Three of them. And then I got to recruit some principes when this barracks is finished. 
actually make that some more. Yes, we should. Deplete the money as much as I can. And that's my spy. Okay, That's only a fleet. This is not troops, but it's a very good fleet. They have fire pot troops, which are a bit dangerous. You don't want to get too close to those people. They have this guy. I, for the record, I suck at naval batteries in this game. I am not good at naval batteries. I have never been. I will never be. And let's not talk about the naval batteries in the Empire at Total War. That's... I'm terrible when it comes to that. Those naval battles. I'm, I'm not even going to go there. It is insane. So what do I want? Um, not this one for now. Potentially down this route. Potentially. Agriculture money would be a good thing though. So we're going for iron tools. I think. And the turn. A cottage might try and attack Circus uh, Navy there. They I scared him away from trying to attack Cosentia. Our joint enemies would tremble if we were your allies. What we could do actually is to take this army in Cosentia here and attack Lilibeam, which I think I might actually do. Because we can cross it straight. It's not actually we don't need a navy, a navy itself to cross this. It's a straight, as we can see. It should be a straight at least. I think it is. A straight. So we can actually get across. Okay, the navy is finished. I want to move this over here. We still won't be able to beat Cartage Navy, probably. So I probably want to increase this even more with some more ships like that I, i'm wasting a lot of money on those things but i want a strong navy so i don't have to worry about it and i do want some we do have we can move together there are some things we could go for i want to go for some sheep rarii because they're sheep as i said and i like sheep sheep is good you have a, you have a plague i'm not going to get close to you any close to you at all you go up to Neapolis you can potentially cross into Alalia but they have 20 troops now so I want to increase this to the maximum size when I have the option to so we can kill those people would you mind to trade now no anyone else Athens please Be welcome, but can I increase your opinion somehow is it increasing at all? It's not. Okay. You... Military actions against Epirus. But I'm not doing anything against Epirus, right? No, we hate each other. That's why. Wait, what? What have I done against you? I have done nothing against you. What are you talking about? That's you. This is me. This is basically my own port. I have done nothing against you. Leave me alone. Okay, where is my spy? That's my spy. What I want to see is how many troops are there down here in Lilibium. It's actually empty. Where is the, the forest that they had back here very recently? Oh, man. I didn't think about that. Sorry, sorry guys. Sorry. I know I trespassed. Which you do hate. Would you mind some military access? Thank you. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't think about that. I've, I forgot about it. Sometimes those things happen. Is it, there are currently no troops in the city itself. But, uh, of course, that might change. They still have this army here somewhere, which I need to be mindful of. Or rather careful of. I'm not going to care about Gaul for now. I want to care about... Although, this is a bit scary. Like how they're both placing troops here. Probably is to check the borders, but I don't want to... They have a plague here as well, it seems like. There's a big thing that's spreading. Interesting. Interesting indeed. End turn. Okay, so that's Cottage Navy. That's also Cottage Navy. Interesting. 
there is a force in the Lilibium, as we could see there. And they're actually moving for me, the Etruscans. So that's actually interesting. I don't know what they're going to do. The thing is, they don't have a navy, I think. But I have a child. Massilia and Liguria is fighting. We have a population surplus, I know. We have encountered Libya. But Libya, of course, is actually allied to Cottage, if I remember correctly. No, they're not. But they usually are, though. For some reason, they're not. Client states. Yeah, Libya. As I thought. Okay, so how strong is the force here? It's nine troops. I want to get there before they do. Why can't I see how far you can go? That's bad. If they get there before me, I'm going to be pissed off. I don't want to, I want I don't want Syracuse to take that place from me. In all honesty, I don't I don't want that at all. Um wait, that's the wrong one. I want double time. I want to get over here as quickly as possible. That's a very sizable Etruscan army. But these are only transports. If I use the navy with those, if I could get this navy over here, I could smash that. I really think I could. But that's not currently the case. So that's the thing. I want more money. Okay. So this is just a cat and mouse game. Who gets here the first? Like the most quick. It might not be me. I don't even know if I can take this down. Because they do have a lot of troops. I think we could. It would be a bit dangerous. And Cottage do have a lot of fleets. Like two of them. It's not that many, but still some. Uh, we haven't finished that building so far. Um, how is the... Public order going. This should be increasing a bit more. It's not currently. I want to upgrade this probably. It's a lot of food though. That's the only problem. I want to build a auxiliary camp down here because I want the auxiliary infantry. Like in real life, a lot of Roman auxiliary in the early days cantons came from southern Europe, like Magna Gratia. That's like that was the way it was back then. Which is very exciting. Not really, but it was kinda exciting at least. Go for a public forum. I want more money. What can we do in Roma? Um, something that gives me money and things, probably. Because I don't, I don't want Latin influence down here. I want money. Wealth from all sources plus two tax harvest, harvesting edict, though. Um, probably this one. Doesn't cost food. That's the main thing as well. So we're going to build a Shrine of Neptune. We can do something about this. See which one would make more sense. That's a lot of problem with the public order. But I think the public order in Roma usually is not a big issue. It shouldn't be at least. Interesting. It's a winter and that's minus three public order, right? That's the reason as well. Okay. But actually, it's going to end the turn. There's not a lot of things I could do. I could probably recruit some more Roari. Only two of them. They're sheep. Not sheep like in bear. Or sh rather sheep like they don't cost a lot of money. If you misunderstood what I said. <laughs> because my English is not the best at all times. Okay. It is a terrible thing to spread. Why would I want to join your war against Libya and spread myself even thinner? No, I'm not going to. They went back. That's something I'll, I never liked with Total War games. We have on really high difficulties. Your opponent have only one county. But they still have a full stack. They can support a full stack of troops with only one single town. That's not something that you, you yourself can do, but they can do it that way. That's something I never really liked with this game or with any Total War game like ever. Because that's the case. You have to live with that. That with live with that being the case itself. We are trading. 
Would you mind trading with me now? No, that's the wrong one. Uh, trade, no. Athens doesn't like me enough. And those people very much don't like me. We surely do. You very much don't like me either. There's a lot of people who don't like me. Greetings. Surprising, right? It's very surprising. It's not really. Okay, what can we do then? We were too late. Circus went in and took this before we could. That's too bad. What can we do else then? I want those to go up here. I want, as I said, I want to combine my navies. How long do I have military access for? Can I see that? Probably for a long time. Athena give you wisdom so that you may speak well and Okay. They do like me though. So they're, they're a strong ally. Lilibium or a Circus are a strong ally. So that's a good thing. Could we potentially be cheeky? How strong is Cottage? Too strong because they have this army here. Cottage, of course, do have walls. That's something we need to keep in mind. And a strong garrison. But if I tried... No, you, I, want, I want you to move here. For now. You're not going to be trespassing. Because we have military access. I potentially could swoop in and take cartridge itself. Because it's actually currently not defended. And don't actually care about the Etruscans. I am thinking that might be a good thing to do. But I do need my navy up here though, otherwise we might get killed while trying to do this. Like this one. That's something I'm thinking about. Because Alalia is a distant dream right now. Could I potentially peace have a peace treaty with you? You have the ear of my people. Do not Why? waste words. We are Why? worthy of better. I have basically taken everything that you owned. And you still don't want to peace treat with me. I find that a bit unbelievable. But I, I guess they don't like me that much. And that's probably the reason why. But still, that's just a bit unreasonable. Because we can actually recruit both Friorii and Principes now. Which is good. I like that. Probably going to focus on the Principes. There's not a lot of cavalry around right now. Which is good for us. The public order is okay. It's actually very good. I do want something that gives me money. That's the most money. It's the middle way. It's the most money. But not the most food. But I do want money right now. That's something I want. My income is not the best, as we can see. Because I'm paying a lot for both my navy and for my troops. I want to, As I said, I want to take away... At least that guy. Those two should go into this navy. And then I'm going to actually take this guy away. But still. I'm paying too much for my my armies. Not to actually use them for anything right now. So that's something I need to do. I want to. Take those guys away. But they are very strong right now. And that's the issue. So I'm a bit. At odds. If I want to take Carthage Or Alalia. Which one would make more sense would you think? Cottage, of course, is a much better city, and it would be a crucial blow to our arch enemies down here in modern-day Tunisia. But still, I guess we have to wait and see where the game brings us. Okay, they went back home. That's good to know. So I, ca I can't go for Cottage. I can't go for Cottage. Meaning I need to do something about... Either Alalia, they could potentially land up there. That's the issue. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Construction completed. The public forum. My income went up, went up slightly, which is great. Yeah, they can actually attack Velotry. I don't like that. I would like to keep that city if you don't mind. The thing is, Alalia, though. It's more difficult to take down. As a city, it's much more difficult to take down. And it doesn't have any really 
any people really defending it. See if I if I really wanted to go for non stance. Um, I wanna bring it two together. I wanna take those people down. Yes, and I want to take this other navy and make it disappear. I want you to disband. Yes. So I want to have one navy. I save some money that way. Hmm. How is it looking down there? So Carthage has a fleet and transports. That fleet is the main issue. If I wanted to try and cross this, they would be able to catch me with that navy. Easily. So I can't go... Or this one. So I can't cross here. There is a strait up here. So if we wanted to take Elalia, we could cross here. But that's the issue. Commander. So go in here. Did you go into the ships, guys? You don't mind? Is it, it's not possible to... No. Why can't you join? There we go. Finally. It's like a bug. They might feel a bit scared and go back to defend Lalia, potentially. Um, but I think we could take them down with 15 troops as well as this navy. I can use those people as artillery to shoot them down from a distance. And, and, I, and I could, of course, just put those people down on the ground. Those people can fight slightly. Not really that good, as we can see. Melee damage is not that high. But still, it could work. Hmm. So Velotry could potentially get attacked by those people in the next episode. Not in the next episode, the next turn. I'm saying the wrong thing every single time. It's a bit annoying. I do admit that it's a bit annoying for me. But sometimes those things happen. Yeah, stay here for now. They don't mind. We have, of course, military access. So it's okay. And we might just end the turn once more and see what happens. Hotch actually want a peace treaty. That would make sense. Because I can't deal with the navy right now and I want to take away the Etruscans. I don't even know why they attacked me in the first place, to be honest. So I actually want to say yes to that one. We are friends now, okay? I just want to see what the Etruscans do. They might go in and try and take Velotry. They didn't, the stupid guys. They're stupid. They just landed. Yes, I know they have landed within my territory, and that's something I don't like, but... Yeah, you're home. If I defeat that army, I gain some money and inspired endeavors, which gives me public order, which is something I would like. But I want those people to get back home, because we're not currently fighting the Carginians, so... Go for forced march and try and get back home. And uh, what can we do? I want to try and attack this. We couldn't attack though if we went for that, so... They're trying to build this up again, as we can see. But I'm still going to be able to smash them with both this navy as well as this army. They won't be able to raise enough troops. If they take Velotry, that's okay. Is it easier to take this back when they're on the land? And for some reason they spammed Italian spearmen. Which is usually what the AI does, they span one, one single troop, they have no balance in their forces whatsoever. Which is a bit sad, but that's the way the AI works in this game, and in most Total War games to be honest. Which is actually really sad. Okay, so what can else can we go for? Ammunition? No. Upkeep cost will be a good thing. Morale. Missile damage ships. I think this one. Increase the morale of the troops. And actually, what do I want to build? What what can I build? I can build an auxiliary camp down here. I could potentially build war dogs later down the line then. Interesting. 
slave trader would not be good for happiness, but for money though. This would give me food, public order and some money, and... Let me see here. Which one would make more sense? This is obviously not anything I could build outside of Roma, you would think. Right? You would think. We can't build those things so far because we don't have the right tech for it. Okay. Cattle trader. That's minus food, not public order. Hmm. I think actually the cattle trade is the one I want to go for. Because I, I can't even build the wine trader. So it doesn't matter. I have to, I can't build that one. So I'm going to go for cattle trader. Try and get some money that way. And we're going to end turn again, potentially. Yes, I think so. I think they might try and attack Velotry. I really thought they would attack me there. I don't like the way they're actually swamping my forces right now. It's a bit scary. Uh, we would be I, could, I could join your war, guys, but I don't, I don't want to right now. I... Right. We can't do anything. I'm just going to... I, at least I can't fight this in this episode. That's what I'm saying. So I'm actually going to take a break here, guys. So we're going to, we can't save. Because I'm playing Legendary. Right. So I did have a save before this battle. So that's great. But I'm actually going to take a break, guys. So in the next episode, we're going to lose this battle. We're going to lose the city back to the Etruscans. But I'm going to take Lalia. And then we can go back here and try and take back Velofri from those massive amounts of Italian spearmen that's currently trying to take this city. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video, guys. This is something completely different from what I usually do on this channel. But uh, I think it should be fun. It's still Rome. It's just Rome in a kind of different way from how I usually play Rome in my other games. This involves a bit more tactics from my own side when it comes to battle tactics and those things that's a bit interesting but if you have enjoyed make sure to like this video also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on any future content in this campaign and in any other campaign that i have on my channel please stay around and give me a subscribe i would appreciate it very much also don't forget to press the notification bell so you don't miss out on the uploads and leave a comment down below if there's something you want to talk about. I do read every single comment and I usually respond as well. It's not like there's a lot of comments either way. <laughs> That's a bit ego from my own side, but yeah. Please leave comments. I hope you have enjoyed this, guys. So thank you for watching. See you soon. Take care.